It's very difficult studying LGBTQ people from the past because we don't have definitive, here's a piece of paper that promises you that I am gay because it was against the law, right? So nobody did that. So scholars have had to find ways to say, here are some pieces of evidence we can use to generally guess this was probably the story. And being buried side by side is kind of one of them. Another is wills. Often people would grant their land to someone who had been their companion for many years rather than inheriting it to a cousin or some far-flung relative if they didn't have children. So scholars have had to work hard to figure that out, but I think it's really interesting. There's a, a thing in, uh, in the UK uh, called Places of Pride, and it's a tour you can take of LGBTQ locations, right? And her gravesite is one of them. So I think she's a really interesting woman to read her supernatural stories and see what underlying theme, what was she trying to say about how we're afraid of different things. People tell you what they really want as a message in their writing, and I think that's somebody we should know.